Dragonflow is a distributed SDN controller for OpenStack Neutron. While at the OpenStack Project Teams gathering in Dublin, I had the opportunity to speak with a member of the Dragonflow team about what's happened over the last six months and what's coming in Rocky. Thank you for taking time to speak with me. Let's start with uh, introductions. Uh, tell us who you are and what project you work on. Okay, uh, I'm Omar Anderson. I work for Huawei and uh, mostly I work on the Dragonflow project. Perhaps you could uh, give us just a real brief overview of, of what Dragonflow does. Okay, uh, Dragonflow is a, is an SDN implementation for, for OpenStack. We implement the Neutron API. Uh, basically, we implement the networking uh, behind behind the scenes. So this also we also plan to be extremely um, um, extremely distri uh, distributed, extreme, extremely scalable, and we try to be very pluggable so that if you want things swapped in, swapped out, it should all work. During the Queen's cycle, what have you accomplished? What have you gotten done? Uh, mostly the cycle was about st uh, about stability. We got many bugs fixed. We got our gates to work a bit better. We had a few small features put in, but uh, mostly yeah. it was a stabilization work. We have a lot of ongoing work that uh, that we have prepared for the next for the next cycle. Things like deployment stuff that we're working on. Things like uh, integration with Skydive, which is a topology, which is a tool that allows you to graphically see your topology. And uh, we're working on application decoupling, which means that network services that sit on the virtual wire can be can be written completely independent of other, of other things and still work. You'll know, be able to put new things in and take old things out according to what you want or need. What kind of deployments tend to use Dragonflow? Is it, is it uh, the NFV world is, or is it uh, more, more broad than that? Well, generally we, we target everything. Everything can use uh, Dragonflow. But Dragonflow is a... Uh, we try to support the, a, a we try to be very scalable. So we plan on having, our goal is to reach 10,000 nodes and still work well. So, so this is our target. Of course, if you have smaller deployment, it should still work. Tell us a bit more about functionality that you expect to, to uh, be adding in the, in the Rocky site. Well, we are expecting, the simple things we're expecting to add is to support more features and more APIs and more networking mm -hmm. services. We are looking into a native uh, load balancing support, where instead of using virtual machines to load balance the, to implement load balancing, we'll do that directly on the wire using OpenFlow. We are looking into DNS implementations where you have a distributed DNS system that responds to virtual to queries from the virtual machines or from the containers and responds with the with the DNS results that are specific to this not to your network. Uh, on the more, on the cooler things we're going to do is uh, we are, as I said before, we're working on, this, on a skydive integration. Yeah. Now, skydive is a tool that allows you to graphically show a tree of what you have. And we want to use this to show what Dragonfield sees as your networking topology. So the, base, the most basic thing is to show your network and your subnets and your ports and everything that's connected. But we want to take this even a step further and say, well, security groups have a very unique view on how things work. You have each port is connected to a security group and you can infer from that which ports are allowed to speak with which. So it would be nice to be able to view this graphically. You have containers inside virtual machines. It would be nice to be able to see this graphically. And then, since troubleshooting and debugging is very difficult to begin with, Having a graphical tool that allows you to do all these things and shows you what you expect, what you logically expect to see, rather than uh, what actually happens on the wire, would help a lot. Uh, I also mentioned that we're working on application decoupling. Uh, this this is a bit of a low level, uh, a low level feature, but I still think it's very interesting because there are many network services that started off as being centralized because it was the easiest way to implement them. But in order to reach a uh, big, uh, large scale, you really want to implement these as close to the wire as possible. So obviously you want things as, as distributed as possible and we work on 
moving things to be as distributed as possible. For instance, in the DNS or the metadata service, we have a single service running on each compute node that gives as much of the information it can right uh, immediately, and only if it has to, it goes further along to the Nova services or, or designate or whatever. And we plan to do the same thing with, uh, with load balancing, instead of having, instead of having a, a container or a virtual machine which decides where each packet goes, then we, then the open flow, we, we have an open flow implementation that does that. Plan to have an open flow implementation that does that. And then what we're trying to do is we have many different network services that are implemented as much on the wire as possible currently in open flow and if we'll see that's not strong enough we can also look into implementations look at using EBPF or E4 in the, fu in the future and this is what we're working on now and what the most important thing is to make sure that you can really plug in uh, an application without it affecting the things around it. Well thank you so much for taking time to speak with me. Uh, and, thank uh, you. Good luck during the week and in the coming six months. Uh, thank you.